Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashton Leather and over the last week we've been receiving a lot of interest in this wallet right here. This is the Capone Money Clip. So I wanted to give you a closer look at how this Capone Money Clip loads up. I wanted to address some of the concerns about the credit cards and the Money Clip itself. So let me show you how this one loads up. Okay, let's go through some of the features on the Capone Money Clip here. And this Capone that we're going to look at is one that I wore for about six months and this was actually the first production sample that we ever made. But I really enjoyed wearing this Capone money clip. Normally I'm a Fat Herbie guy, which I'm wearing right now. Still got a Fat Herbie here with a ton of credit cards on the inside. And I was really surprised with how many credit cards this Capone held and still remained a relatively thin thickness. So we're gonna take a gauge here and gauge out the wallet with nothing inside of it. And let's just see how thick this one ranges. So we're around eight to nine millimeters thick. Uh, just to start here, I have to say closer to nine. And if we gauge out a single side here, we're getting about four and a half millimeters. So we've got about nine millimeters when this is unloaded and closed in thickness. And for me, the best function of this wallet, I really like these exterior card slots on the front and back. So let's load these up really quickly. When I wore this one, I think I only put two or three cards inside each of these exterior slots. And you wanna be careful. If you use a lot of credit cards in one slot and then you decide to re reduce the amount of cards you have, you might get a little bit of looseness in the slot here. So on the exterior of the Capone Money Clip, we have those two credit card holders. And I really like to put my main cards on the outside because they're really easy to access. On the interior of the Capone here, we also have two credit card holders. I tend to put more cards on the inside of this wallet and there are things that I don't use as frequently. So you can really load up the inside of this and not have too much thickness in the overall wallet. So let's load this up with two cards really quickly. And there was a concern that some people had with this money clip getting in the way of the cards. So what's interesting about this wall is you can sort of invert the whole thing and then you never really have any issues with this money getting in the way of your cards. They're always sort of easily accessible. And I mentioned I have a black spring bar on this guy, this black clip in the center. I like this one originally, but we decided to go with this finish. This is a nickel finish on that same solid brass hardware. The way that this guy works is there is actually a spring on the inside. So if you unscrew this a little bit, there will be, even if, it, if you unscrew it just a tiny bit, the tension from this arm is not nearly as strong. So if I have it a little bit unscrewed like this, you're not gonna get the same amount of tension against a, a dollar bill. So you're gonna always want this piece right here to be completely flush. If you see it open, even a slight bit like that, it does reduce the tension a bit. So I've got a dollar bill here, and when I've got this spring bar fully tightened, fully screwed together, the tension is really tight. So it should be able to hold a single bill rather well. So I've got one bill right there, and it's holding it pretty good. So if I unscrew this just a tiny bit, let's get a comparison. So we'll unscrew it just a little bit here. And we can see already, I can feel the tension difference already. And we'll try to clip that back in place. And I can already tell, yeah, the dollar just falls right out. So the long story short with the money clip here is you wanna make sure that it's tightened completely. All right, we're gonna go back to the Capone here. And the, this one again is black and this is tightened all the way. When we install these clips, we'll actually apply a little bit of double-sided tape to make sure it stays in position inside this little exterior slot. And there's actually a directionality to these. That you might not notice this, but the bottom and top of this spring bar section are a little bit different. We actually designed it so the top of this spring bar actually fits flush when it's on the inside of this. So when it's hitting the top, you'll see that this hits perfectly there where this side is a little bit more angled to accommodate this side of the clip. So when it's installed completely on the inside, you'll see that this should be completely flush against the top. All right, let's load up this guy. And I've got $22 bills here. And I'm, I think people might be surprised with how much cash one of these spring bars can hold. And we actually suggest uh, using, you know, you can use 20 or even 30 bills in here and they do fit pretty well. You can see it kind of chunks it up just because that thickness of bills is pretty thick. But this is how it would look when it's loaded up. Something to be concerned about with all of our wallets or perhaps any wallet is it seems like the more cash you put inside, the less credit cards you can use. So if you have a lot of credit cards, you might not be able to use as much cash as easily as you would like. So what I'd like to do here is unload the Fat Herbie that I'm wearing and put it inside that Capone money clip. I'm gonna have to kind of skip ahead here so I don't 
show my credit card numbers to everybody and we'll get a comparison between the thickness and this fat herbie here again this is the natural latigo i've been wearing for a while when i've got this one fully loaded it's about 15 millimeters thick and here's that same fat herbie completely unloaded we'll gauge this from 15 millimeters before and now we're down to about eight and a half nine millimeters which is interesting that's about the same thickness that the capone was earlier so here's the capone fully loaded up i've got let's see three credit cards here four credit cards here i've got a couple on the inside it looks like four on that side and four on this side so i got about 15 credit cards and a bunch of bills here this is how it looks fully loaded up it's really punchy i call it it holds a lot of stuff in a really small form factor and let's gauge this one out so we we had 15 millimeters on the herbie and on this one we're almost at about 22 millimeters thick but you can see just how easily accessible these cards are on the outside these are the ones again where i use my most common cards when i go to the store I just want to have something quick and easy to access and some people were concerned about the cards on the inside which are probably not going to be accessed as frequently but again you can see how the the money clip here doesn't really get in the way of these the access to these cards you can sort of just quickly pull them out on either side so thank you everybody that's picked up one of these english tan dublin capone money clips over the weekend i'm really excited for you to have it and thank you so much for your support also i want to give a quick shout out to Walletopia. if you want to check out Walletopia, they do incredible reviews on wallets the content he has over there is really informative and useful if you're shopping around for something like this capone here so let's take a look at some of the other capone money clips that are shipping out today this is a special item here this is the green shell cordovan on the capone money clip and this is the more recent green shade that horween has been doing it's a little bit more of a vibrant green shade that i totally love and here's a look at another dublin capone money clip but this is the black dublin check out this one with incredible natural green character and the figuring on the exterior of this wallet the black dublin to me is about as exciting as a black leather can get. I don't think you're gonna find another interesting black leather like this because most black leathers are just completely finished over and painted on top of, they don't look like leather at a certain point, they just look more like paint. And by the way, this one has been personalized for MGPP. Thank you so much, MGPP. And here's another one that's been personalized. This one's for CVD. Thank you so much, CVD. You got a great Capone coming your way. And we have another personalized Capone here. This one's for FGF. And this is in a different leather here. This is a leather from Horween called Chrome Excel. And it's a really rich, waxy and oily leather that's become very popular over the last couple decades. But it's been used all over, all over the world through different functions, including military motor seals and footwear for about 100 years now. And it's really special. And the natural Chrome Excel is the most popular Chrome Excel color right now. And I do have another natural item here, but this is the natural shell cordovan on the Capone money clip. You can probably tell immediately that the natural shell is just a little bit more life to the color where the natural Chrome Excel, it's a little bit more ivory and it's a little bit more neutral. The both are very nice, but the natural shell is something special. The big difference between the Shell Cordovan and the Chrome Excel is the luster and the smoothness. The Shell Cordovan should be as smooth as glass and as bright as a mirror, super shiny. And let's take a look at the interior of this one. We've got a nice Horween ink stamp on the interior. And let's have a look at some more leather goods that we're shipping out today. We've got an Apple watch band here in English Tan Dublin. All of our watch straps are unlined, so they're extra comfortable. Here's another Apple watch band. This one's in the Black Shell Cordovan. And the Black Shell Cordovan, again, all of the online straps, the way that the reverse shell wears in is really nice. It gets really smooth and comfortable just around your wrist and it'll sort of naturally mold to conform around your wrist shape. And here's another watch strap. This is a two piece watch strap, not for the Apple watch bands, but we can do these in 18 through 24 millimeters. And this one is in the color eight shell cordovan. Here's another English tan Dublin piece. This is our keychain belt clip in English tan Dublin. I really like my belt clip. I think we sort of selfishly made this design for me because I like to clip this clip to my belt loops and hold my keys off on the other side. So I've just been really enjoying mine. I've been wearing mine in uh, color eight shell cordovan, but the English tan Dublin was the first one I used. Here's another look. This is a shell cordovan piece this time, natural shell cordovan on our keychain belt clip. And let's have a look at some more minimalist styles that we're shipping out today. Check this guy out. This is our two shot card case where there are two openings for credit cards on the inside. This is a little bit of a, a play off of our one shot card case, which just has one 
card holder, obviously, but this one is really neat because we've got a combination of leathers. We've got Western black shell cordovan, and that Western texture is on top of some black Dublin. So we've got black Dublin on the exterior as well as on this second card slot here. And here's a couple more minimalist styles. This is the Frank the Enforcer. We have two card slots in the front, a large opening in the center, and this opening in the center here will fit US dollars folded in half. And then we have one more slot on the back. And here's another English Tan Dublin piece. Check out this color and texture. Everything is so nice on the English Tan Dublin. Same functionality here with the two card holders on the front and one on the back, but this one has been personalized for AMG. And here's a look at some more wallets. This is a Bugs Moran. This one is really great for the form factor. It's about the size of a deck of cards. And let's have a look at this beautiful piece of color number four shell cordovan on the exterior. Really nice medium brown shade with reddish undertones. And on the inside of this guy, we've got a reverse interior. And here's the similar style. This is called the Tony the Ant. It's pretty similar to the Bugs Moran, but the big difference here is we have the bill slot on the outside. So that's the main difference between the two. And the Tony the Ant is just a little bit larger. We decided to make it wider and longer to more easily accommodate cash in the outside bill pocket here. And on the inside, four card slots, just like the Bugs Moran, but on these larger two slots, you can also fit US dollars folded in half underneath here and on the other side. Here's a look at our most popular wallet right now. This is the Johnny the Fox and a really beautiful piece of color number eight shell cordovan. This one has been personalized as well for AS. Thank you so much, AS. Check out the inside though. We've got all these random die marks of the color eight reverse interior that I think are really beautiful. Up next, this is a really special private stock wallet. This is Pit Tanned Horsefront M's Chrome XL. It's a little bit of a different variation on the Chrome XL. It's a little bit more dense, definitely more grainy and very natural in appearance. This one has the mane of the animal cut down the center of the back and the mane cut down the center of these card holders. Here's another special private stock item going out today. This is our passport field notes holder and some reverse ultraviolet shell cordovan. Check out the random die marks on the ultraviolet shell here. I think that's remarkable looking and this is a stunner for people that come into the shop. This one is the one that people sort of gravitate to when they see it in person. So we can see that ultraviolet in the center here and on the card slots, this is actually tumbled cigar shell cordovan. And here's our best selling wallet. We have a hard time keeping this guy in stock. This is 100% color eight shell cordovan on our Johnny the Fox. The color eight is that classic cordovan color. It's a dark brown burgundy shade. And what makes this wallet extra special is we're hand staining all the edges to match the color of the color eight shell. So we've got color eight edges here that are waxed and burnished and all the edges on the card holders and the top of the wallet are also hand stained. And the inside we've got really difficult to come by leather. This is extra thin pieces of color eight shell cordovan and the thickness should not be concerning for the durability at all. We actually find that the wallets tend to last regardless of thickness because we're not thinning down anything. We're trying to take the, the leather at its natural state which is where it's its strongest. So when you start to thin down the leather, you actually reduce the strength of it. So we have to pick naturally occurring thin pieces of shell, which are rare and tough to come by. Up next is another Bugs Moran. And again, that beautiful black Dublin with the exceptional natural character. This one has been personalized for LLL. Thank you so much, LLL. Here's another Tony the Ant with incredible grain character. Look at this guy. We've got all sorts of natural figuring going from left to right and top to bottom. I think that's a really beautiful piece of leather. Probably one of the most dramatic pieces of Dublin that I've seen. Like if you look at the inside here, more English Tan Dublin. And here's another Bugs Moran. This might be a good way to compare and contrast the Shell Cordovan to the Dublin. And both these leathers are actually tanned using the same tree bark blends. But the pit tanning of the Shell Cordovan and the skin itself are just so different. You can really see it in the texture. So look closely at the grain of the Dublin here. And if you look closely at the shell of the shell cordovan. I don't call it grain because technically there is no grain on here at all. It's super smooth and very, very different than the Dublin. So you might like the texture, you might like it really smooth, but both of them are gonna age and develop an incredible patina. One more wallet to show you today. This is a beautiful piece of natural shell cordovan on our Tony the Ant. Just take a look at how the light hits and reflects off of this. That's what you want in the shell cordovan. A really bright, shiny luster, an exceptional smooth feel, and it 
for me, the Shell Corvin from Horween in particular just has a little bit more richness to it in terms of feel. It's almost like the oils and waxes that are tanned inside of here are just a little bit more pronounced on the Horween stuff. And speaking of Horween stuff, this is a, a bottle of Horween's Venetian Cream. This is something that we've been selling with them for the last few months. If you want to condition any leather, uh, in fact, Horween uses this Venetian Cream to polish every piece of Shell Cordovan that they produce. This is the same material that they use. It also works really well on other leathers. The Venetian Cream is quite versatile. You can use it on Chrome XL, you can use it on Dublin, and you can use it on Shell Cordovan. Here's another English Tan Dublin piece. This is a belt that I'm actually wearing right now. This is English Tan Dublin on our Horween leather belts. We are making more belts all the time, so if you don't see the color and size available on our website, just let us know and we can have it made to order. We're also coming out with some Color 8 Chrome XL belts this week that I hope to show you soon. Speaking of Chrome XL, the last item of the day, XL Valet tray here in the natural Chrome XL leather. This is a little bit wider and more rectangular of a shape when you compare it to our standard Valet tray. It's a little bit larger. We made this one with the Fat Herbie in mind, actually. So the Fat Herbie will fit perfectly inside of there as well as my phone so that's an iphone 10 fits just about perfectly inside our xl valley trays so thanks for checking out the video today and if you have any questions about the capone money clip definitely let me know also please check out walletopia they've got great videos of different wallets over there and again everybody that's picked up a wallet thank you so much for supporting us